The topic I have chosen is the Bangladesh groundwater arsenic contamination. Bangladesh has a population of around 125 million and approximately 33 to 77 million people are at risk of drinking contaminated water. Arsenic is a naturally occurring element. Harmless traces of arsenic are locked into rocks and sediments. Under certain natural conditions, arsenic can be released into drinking, wa drinking water aquifers. Arsenic can also contaminate groundwater through the use of certain pesticides. In the 1960s and 70s, the United Nations began drilling wells to provide safe and cleaner water for the people of Bangladesh. However, the wells were too shallow, so a majority of the water contains arsenic. The groundwater was most likely contaminated with arsenic due to the fact that Bangladesh sits on large piles of sediment eroded out from the Himalayan mountains and dumped into river deltas. Arsenic poisoning is known as a silent killer. It's undetectable in early stages, and it takes between 8 to 14 years when drinking to have an impact on health. The most common symptoms are skin lesions. Around 43,000 people die each year in Bangladesh from arsenic poisoning. Other symptoms can include cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and reduced IQ in children. Some say that arsenic poisoning leaves no organ spared. The most negatively affected group is rural women. If a husband discovers his wife has arsenic poisoning, he finds the marital relationship too risky to maintain and seeks divorce. This leaves these women with no place in society. There are many social implications regarding the knowledge of arsenic poisoning in Bangladesh. For starters, in rural areas there is little education, so some individuals are unaware if they have arsenic poisoning or how it spreads. For this reason, sufferers are not allowed to appear in public areas. This prevents them from holding a job or attending school. From 2000 to 2003, 5 million wells were tested to see if they were above or below the national standard and labeled to inform citizens if they were safe to use. Since 2005, 200,000 deeper wells have been funded since it's believed that safe water lies deeper.